हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट योर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस सो दैट्स व्हाई आई एम मेकिंग दिस वीडियो फॉर यू एंड टुडे आई एम मेकिंग द वीडियो ऑफ अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट इज योर चैप्टर नंबर 3 एनर्जी सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द कांसेप्ट आई वांट टू टेल यू दैट व्हेन यू आर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो यू कैन यूज the headphones for the better quality of the sound okay now i am going to start your topic your topic is starting from page number 40b so this is the page number of the book 40b from the 40b page number your chapter topic energy is starting so before starting the concept i want to ask a very simple question to you just suppose if i have a bike but there is no petrol in the bike can you imagine that the bike can work of course not okay suppose if there is no electricity if there is no electricity in the home and uh, we want to switch on the fan although we switch on this fan but can you imagine that the fan can do the work it can run of course not moreover this we are a human being we have to do many kind of activities in our day to day life but if we are not eating food regularly then can we able to do the work of course not in all these three examples one thing is missing what is that is source of energy it means in the case of bike how the bike will work how the engine can run only with the help of petrol it means the bike or the engine get the energy from the petrol and in the case of fan when we are switch on the fan but the fan is but fan is not working it is not running why because of it is not getting energy so when the electricity is supplied to the fan only in that case the fan is able to do the work it means the fan is required as some sort of energy and the same thing is for the human being also we want to do the work then we have to regularly taking our food and only then we can get the energy from the food then we are able to do the work so it means we require some sort of energy to do the work or if we want to make the object to do the work even in that case we need some sort of energy so how we can define the energy it means energy is something that have a capacity to do the work so this is your definition means okay now see this definition this is exactly the same definition i had just copied it from the book energy is defined as the capacity of doing work means it is a it is a something it can be anything that has a capacity to do the work that is called energy in the case of fan electricity is a source of energy in the case of bike petrol is a source of energy or in the case of human being food is a source of energy so basically energy is defined as the capacity of doing work it is the ability to do the work so it is given in your book that the first elephant is stronger than the other elephant it means the first elephant has more energy to do the work so this elephant can carry more logs of wood so it means so basically the concept is only is this whenever we want to do the work we must require some sort of energy and the person or the things which has more energy are able to do more amount of work so i hope this concept is clear to you you can take several examples like this but in each and every example if we want to do the work and or we want to make the object to do the work in that case we must require some sort of energy only that in that case we are able to do the work so after the concept of energy on page number 44 there is a next topic that is work so dear student this is also very important concept so exactly on the next page there is a next topic that is work so before starting this concept i want to tell you something about work in day to day life we use this word many times like when you are completing your copy you are doing the mathematics sum or the other subjects you are completing so generally you say that you are doing a work and uh, even i am making a video for you it means 
I am doing the work for you. So you are on the on on your side. You are also watching this video. It means you are doing your study. Even you are doing your work also. And let's take the another example. Suppose a person who is working in a company is busy on doing something on his laptop. In all these cases, all, we are all doing work. But in physics, these things are not work. So, what is the meaning of the work in physics? In physics, work is used in a very scientific manner. It is a specific term that has a scientific meaning in the physics. So now I am going to explain that what is a work in physics. So in simple thing, it is very simple concept. When we are applying a force on the object, suppose I am applying a force on the chair. I want to move the chair. Of course, if I want to move the chair, then I have to apply the force on the chair. And I am applying a force on the chair. And the chair starts moving. It displaces through some distance. Means it covers some distance. After displacing, it starts from a point, starting point, and it reaches to a particular point. Means it covers some distance. So in this case, we can say that the work is done. So in simple terms, when we are applying a force on the object, an object starts displacing, it starts moving, or displaces through some distance, it covers some distance. In that case, we can say that the work is done. So. This is your definition of work. In physics, work is said to be done when a force makes an object to move through some distance. It means when we are applying a force on the object and the object starts displacing, it starts moving. So we can say that the work is done. So okay, to explain this concept, a one example is taken in your book also. So all these things are exactly the same to the book. I just copied the important things on the board to explain the concept. When you will read the chapter, when you will go through the chapter, then you easily understand each and every concept. So, what is the example is given to you? This is the table. You can see this is the table top. And a block is placed here. A box, small box is placed here. At a point P, and uh, a person is applying a force from this direction. You can see this is a force and it is applied from this direction. And after applying a force, the object starts moving and it reaches to a point Q here on the other end of the table. So it means both things are satisfied. It means after applying a force, the box moves and it reaches to a point Q. So it means in this case the work is done because both things are happening here. A force is applied on the box and the box is displacing to a point Q. So in physics this is called work. Okay, after understanding the term work, now the next question arises that how we can calculate the work. It means if I am applying a force on the chair and it starts displacing through some distance, then how can I say that how much work I have done here? means we have to find a numerical value. So now I am going to explain that how we can find the numerical value or the value of the work. So basically just now we had studied that work is done when a force makes an object to move through some distance in the direction of the force. Means when we are applying a force on the object, it starts displacing or it moves through some distance in the direction of force applied. In which direction I am applying a force, generally object moves in that direction. So the formula of work is very simple. This is the mathematical formula. This is work done is equal to applied force multiplied by distance covered. It means when we are applying, when we are putting the values of the force, means how much force we are applying on the object and how much distance is covered by the object. When we multiply these two quantities, then we can get the value of the work. So we can write it also like in this way, W is equal to F into S. W stands for work, F stands for force, and S stands for distance. So simply, we have to multiply these two values, force into displacement. So this is the formula of the work. Okay, now I am showing you a numerical example to understand the concept of work. Means how we can find the value of work. 
just now i explained this formula w is equal to f into s means work is equal to force into displacement okay now just i had taken the example when i was explaining this concept work it is the example from the book now i had assigned some values numerical values again to take the same example so what is the example the point is b and here the block is placed and after applying a force the block moves and it reaches to a point q in this case the work is done now as i assign the values i just assumed that is we are just applying a 10 newton force on this box so this is only an example 10 newton force is applied on this box and the distance between these two points p to q is 2 meter means when we are applying the force of 10 newton on this block it starts moving and it covers the distance of 2 meter clear so it means the force is 10 and the distance is 2 so after putting the values in the formula this is 10 newton force multiplied with s s stands for the distance this is 2 meter 10 into 2 is 20 so it is 20 newton meter so this is the numerical value of the work means 20 newton meter we have done the work so i have also written it as 20 joule so why i have written this 20 joule because of the unit of the work basically is newton meter because the force is the unit of the force is newton and the unit of the distance is meter when we are multiplying newton into meter it will become newton meter so this is the unit of the work but after the famous scientist named Zhao then it was taken as Zhao means now instead of writing newton meter we can also write 20 Zhao so by doing this we can able to calculate the value of work so when you are watching this video always use the headphones for the better quality of the sound and uh, I was explaining the concepts and also I am explaining the examples that are given in your book and uh, when, you, when you watch this video after watching this video you will be able to understand each and every concept from the book you just go through the book read the book and then you, you are able to understand the concepts thank you